What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video I want to talk about how I color graded my S-Log2 footage to make it go from this to this. Okay, so we're here in Final Cut Pro. I got my S-Log2 footage uploaded. Um, I used this footage from the intro, as you saw. And I'm gonna show you how I like to color grade my S-Log footage. So the first thing I wanna do is open up a vector scope by clicking Command-7. Brings up my vector scope so I can see where my highlights, uh, my shadows, and my midtones are sitting at. So. I'm gonna go here, up here to the uh, inspector window, and then I'm gonna do some basic color correction just to fix that up. So I'll go right here, hit my exposure, and I'm gonna bring down my shadows just above zero. And then my highlights are looking pretty good. They're just under 100 where uh, I like to have them at. I'm gonna bring the midtones down, a just a hair just to see what it looks like and I think that looks pretty good so after I did a basic color correction I'm gonna go ahead and uh, insert a LUT so I'm gonna go down here to my effects browser click on that and I have a, a LUT loader right here that I'm gonna use I'm gonna drag that over onto my clip and then right here I can upload a LUT what I'm gonna do is use one of these LUTs and then I'm gonna bring down the mix to about 20 that looks pretty good to me and then I'm gonna go ahead and put on this S-Log2 color grade that I personally made for my clips and then I'm gonna adjust this accordingly so if we go back into this area this is what my S-Log2 color grade has on it I have a color board two color boards a color wheel and hue and saturation curves so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my color board number two, go to saturation, and I'm going to kick up some of this saturation a little bit just to bring it back to life. Um, that's looking pretty good to me right there. Uh, my shadows are kind of dark right now, so I'm going to go ahead and bring those up a hair to about right there. Looks pretty good. Bring down the highlights a bit and maybe bring down the mid-tones a little bit and that's looking pretty good to me. Um, there's a few different ways you can go about this. Um, I've watched countless YouTube videos about color grading S-Log2 footage and it looks like everybody has their own personal preference on the way they like to do it. This is how I personally like to do it and I like to experiment as well. Um, sometimes I'll do it um, a different way just to try it out and see how it works. but. This is the main one I have. Usually I just do a basic color correction. Um, I'll throw a LUT on top of it and bring it down a little bit so I'm not using the whole LUT itself, just a little little bit of it. And then I'll go ahead and uh, drop my S-Log2 color grade that I personally made on top of it. And then I'll go back inside and adjust any things that I need to. So here's, here's what I have on the uh, hue and saturation curve. Uh, looks like on the hue and saturation I just bumped up the blues a little bit. And it's looking a little blue to me. I might bring that down a little bit. Yeah, that's looking a little better. In my color wheels, I bumped up the master a little bit on the saturation, not much. I moved the shadows over and in, more into the blues. I moved the highlights over more into the oranges, the more warmer colors. Same with the midtones. And then I just bumped up the saturation a little bit on those. Might bring down this shadows a little bit. That's looking okay. I might actually bump up the master a little bit as well. Right there is looking pretty good. And then sometimes I'll uh, adjust the color temperature um, using this slider right here. Uh, if I want to make it a little bit cooler or a little bit more warmer depending on the feel of the, of the clip or uh, what I'm going for. And then sometimes I'll mess with the tint. You can see here I bump the tint down to negative 4. But yeah, that's how I color grade my S-Log2 footage. 
um, it looks way better color graded than uh, when it comes out of the camera. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'm going to be putting out all kinds of helpful tutorials on filmmaking and Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials as well. So be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and yeah, I'll see you guys on another video.